typical parade of wheels and pulleys, grapevines land one by one in the rocky soil of Burnt Hill Farm. This sunny April day is perfect for planting a new vineyard here in Montgomery County. Today we are in the midst of planting 20,000 vines that will take us the next couple of days. We will plant till we can't on a sunny day like this. These vines will form the foundation of the Burnt Hill Project, a new venture from siblings Drew Baker, Lisa Hinton, and Ashley Johnson. In 2010, they founded Old Westminster Winery and started growing grapes and producing award-winning wines. But they didn't want to stop there. Five years into that project, we started to sell wine and we quickly realized that we needed to figure out what was next. We wanted to raise the bar. And that's what put us on the journey to find the perfect hillside. Wine grapes thrive on sloping hills. And after months of searching for the perfect hillside, Drew heard about a farm for sale here in Clarksburg. That first day, we came here and we stood on top of the hill and I thought it just felt right. Burnt Hill has a lot that makes it great, including the hill itself. It provides easy access to sun and wind, which reduces mildew and other fungal development. Topography and elevation is really important because sun and wind are nature's antibiotics. And here on top of this hill, there is an abundance of sunshine and a steady year-round breeze. A high slope also helps rainwater leave the soil quickly. And this dry environment means grapevines need to work harder to grow. Plus, the rocky soil provides another obstacle for roots seeking nutrients. All that may sound harmful, but extra stress on the plants can be a good thing. Ripening grapes is also a reproductive mechanism of a grapevine, and you want a grapevine to fear a little bit for its own existence so that it focuses its energy on ripening fruit rather than just growing leaves. Of course, growing conditions are only part of the equation. Drew is also experimenting with many different types of grapes in the vineyard. We are planting 100 grape varieties, which is sort of unheard of, but part of our idea here is to reimagine what American wine should be. So we are planting some of our old world favorites like Cabernet Franc and Gamay, but we're also planting a plethora of Native American and mixed heritage varieties that are native to this place. It'll take some time before the siblings know if the experiment has paid off about two years before the grapes at Burnt Hill are ready to be made into wine. But there's still plenty to process at their first vineyard. Now in October, winemaker Lisa Hinton is hard at work at Old Westminster Winery. The winemaking process for the grapes at Burnt Hill will be the same, but the end product won't be. Wine, more than any other beverage, is a reflection of the site where it's grown. So the wines will be completely different because even if they're the same varieties planted at two different locations, the wines are different. And they're going to have their own story and be a representation of the place where they're grown. And Lisa is eager to start telling the story of these new vines. I'm excited to work with the varieties that we've planted at Burnt Hill. It's things that we don't have planted with Old Westminster. So just the experimentation and the innovation that we get to produce from Burnt Hill is really exciting. I think the future is bright. The siblings are still only a few steps into creating what they believe will be a game-changing vineyard. They have high hopes and high standards. I don't know that we'll ever reach a place with Burnt Hill where we say we've made it. The journey is the experience and just creating a vineyard that outlasts us. To us, that's what success is.